Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? You're back! Nice to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I... At least she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Let me know if there's anything else I... May finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can... We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Full 
of the mandrakes. I haven't fed them yet. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Send it. I saw what you did. There's still talk about you taking down that hole in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appear. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never... The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behaviour. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down a... I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrated. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is it is specific to me. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Now the nickname makes sense. It is. I loved... She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding up... 
She claims that she has foreseen tragedy, but she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It... That may be safe, but I do not believe that... You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow... I choose to act as you have. <sighs> My mother... Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Revelio. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh. Did she now? I'll give you this book, if you humor me by a Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would... Hence, I have created a small... None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I... A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few... Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The snake bird. No. Incorrect. The answer was the golden snidget. The snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid... Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Horcruxes? No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisib... Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct... When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three... True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. 
I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Revelio! Revelio. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. So this is the underground harbour. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done.
You wanted to discuss my progress so far. That I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. As I suspected they would. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunity. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacula. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of... Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I was, uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well... Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Rebellion. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you-know-what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You're here. Good. 
Sebastian, that relic you mentioned? I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Lumos! Lumos! I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Lumos! Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Revelio! Tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Akio! Wingardium Leviosa! Rebellion! In an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Watch your step. I need a slip there. Feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs, expansion efforts, and ran into problems. Often cave ins. And then we're abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Rebellio! Confringo! This is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. 
Seems odd. Akio. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic, and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does? Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But... Let me think for a moment. Of course. Oh. Brilliant. There's more to it. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Akio! Rebellion. Akio. We're in the tomb, and the new eerie sounds come with the territory. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard.
Another barricade. Accio, considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Rebellion. Accio. That worked. Keep going. We've rid the world of another spider. I shall see better. 